The World Health Organization has announced the outbreak of the polio virus among the children across the country. Following this, the Ministry of Health has embarked on vaccinating the children across the country, starting with the eastern region where the first case was registered. The districts to receive the vaccination include the Busia, Tororo, Mbale, Jinja, Namayingo, Bujiri, Iganga, Butebo, Bududa, Kamoli, among others, in all the eastern Uganda. The house to house vaccination will start from the 3rd to the 5th of October 2024. Dr. Brian Asimwe, attached to the Community Service Division under the Ministry of Health, noted that the World Health Organization detected the polio type 1, which is still a threat to the life of the children, which can make them disabled. He revealed that they shall use the novel oral poliometrolytics vaccine to do the oral vaccination and vaccines in will hope in boosting the immune of the targeted children whose life is at risk to contact the polio type 1 virus. Type 1 which is circulating in endemic in Afghanistan and Pakistan. So what has happened is that we've got now the vaccine derived polio virus. It is called the circulating vaccine derived polio virus. This one is not as virulent as the wild polio virus, but it can also uh, 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 cause disability among children whose immunity is low. Those who get the infection and fall sick, it can also cause, cause disability. Dr. Simu noticed that the polio type 1 virus can be transmitted through the water, human expression, the sweat, among others. He appealed to all the stakeholders to join hands to do mass exercisation that the public embraces the exercise. That strategy is house to house. I hope you got this during her communication. House to house. We are not going to assemble any children and a tree at school, wherever, except the kindergartens will be visited. The nurseries where they have children below five years will be visited by the vaccination teams. But it is house to house because most of these young ones stay at home, except for those who go with their mothers to the market, to the gardens and the other places, or they are traveling. Benan Namanyar, the assistant district health officer, says that they have a target of 80,000 children so they can hit 95% in Busia district. They have trained the health workers who will work with the village health team and the village chairperson to do the house to house immunization. So supported that, and we are saying when we get the health workers moving from house to house, it is WHO which is going to what? To support. So on my last appeal in this remark, I was saying, since we are very many uh, stakeholders in this place, please pick what you are supposed to do and go and execute. Dr. Omumba Musa, a medic attached to the Masa for General Hospitals, said that there is a need to give moderate facilitation to the health workers who are going in the field in order to execute their work successfully. But what is the critical enabler? The critical enabler is that all healthcare workers involved in the process, can they meet all these people, as well as all the VHTs who do the mobilization, as well as our political leaders, because they have a huge following. But it comes back to the means of transport. Tom Wabiri, the Busia District Health Inspector, voiced that they still have challenges of mishandling, fuel made to be used by the team attached to the field, an act that should not feature during this exercise. In most cases, there are very many people who come to DHO that we need fuel here and there, we need fuel here and there. And this one ends up now tying DHO now to minimize the fuel which, is, which should be for implementation to be given to so and so, so and so, at least something. This one, I, those who come for fuel, please, if we are to get 95% and above, let fuel be given to people who are supposed to use it 